All right, so today Texas was able to get the win over Iowa State. Uh, wasn't the prettiest win, but got the win nonetheless. Iowa State, not the best record, but a solid team. Uh, kind of have really had Texas' number as of late. Uh, they've beat Texas three out of four, I believe. Uh, and Texas, hey, they needed this win. They haven't had the prettiest wins all year, but they've been winning. Uh, and really, Texas, with this win, still controls their own destiny, uh, I believe. I realize they're ranked seventh, but besides Florida State, every team above them is going to have to play each other by the end of the season. So if Texas wins out, they're in. You got Michigan and Ohio State playing each other. That's going to eliminate one of you. You have Oregon and Washington playing each other. That's going to eliminate another one. Then you got Georgia and Alabama. That's going to eliminate another one. Okay. So whatever happens, they should be good. Uh, should most likely get in. I think they'll get in over Oregon, even if Oregon wins out, because – that win over Bama, I believe, is going to kind of give them the edge there. But they got to win next week versus Tech, and then whoever's waiting on them in the championship, whether that's Oklahoma, whether that's another of the two lost teams, uh, Oklahoma State, whoever. But talking about this game here, before we get to Texas, though, Iowa State, I did not realize they had so many freaking freshmen on this team. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with here in a few years. Quarterback's freshman, running back's freshman. They had a receiver that's freshman. They had somebody at linebacker making all their tackles that's freshman. They're going to be pretty good here in a few years. Uh, but getting back to Texas here, C.J. Baxter, his first game uh, in a while on first-string running back duty with Jonathan Brooks out for the year. I thought he looked good. Averaged about 6.5 yards per carry, uh, six yards carry. Looked pretty good. They kind of pounded it whenever they wanted to. Uh, talking about the passing game, though, I'm still a little questionable on Quinn Ewers. Uh, not in general. I'm a big fan of Quinn Ewers. I think he's legit. Uh, he's got a rocket arm. But I still think that shoulder might be bothering him a little bit. Uh, he doesn't look like he can throw it as far as he could before he got hurt. Now, obviously, looking at his stat line here, 23 for 33, 281 yards, two touchdowns. It's not a bad stat line. But some of his throws, it was like, I feel like he normally could have made that, you know. Uh, and now he was holding it a lot this uh, this game, you know, holding it a while. Now, Iowa State, I guess the top 10 defense in the nation, apparently, according to the stats. I did not realize that going in, but. They looked at – they kind of – they rushed three and somehow get pressure, but they also kind of cover everything in the back half. So I thought they did a pretty good job. Uh, but Texas lives to fight another day. They get the win here. And like I said, kind of still control their own destiny, I think. Uh, now, obviously, that's me believing they can jump Oregon. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, or, or Washington, whoever. Uh, now, we'll see what happens. I guess, you know, let's see. Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State – Washington, so it might not happen, but I think Florida State also is going to lose one of these games over the next week. Uh, Jordan Travis went down, so I think they'll either lose to Florida or Louisville in the championship. So maybe Texas doesn't control their own destiny, but if all those teams go undefeated, no, but when does that ever happen? You know, I mean, somebody's going to drop one at some point over these next couple weeks to where it's going to play itself out. Uh, but Texas, like I said, lives for another day, another day. It's not the prettiest wins, but they get the win nonetheless. Let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more movie sports and gaming.